In this video, watch your about sweetness is not your everyday aircraft. Welcome to the magnificent, mysterious, and mildly concerning world of the Wima 005. A helicopter straight out of the kitchen that looks like it was designed by an engineering student on energy drinks and divine intervention. Crafted by the daring Jake Antwi, this flying marvel doesn't just challenge gravity, it dares gravity to take a nap. Let's begin with the body. The Yuma 005's fuselage is compact, not aerodynamic, not sleek, compact. It's the kind of aircraft body that whispers, I'm doing my best, okay? The color, hopeful white, probably chosen to reflect ambition and maybe hide the scratches, dents, and the general air of uncertainty. And throttle blade? Ah yes, we have one. It spins, it humps, it coughs like an old smoker on a treadmill. The poor rotor seems like it was constantly debating between spinning or submitting its resignation letter. You're talking about a blade that might have been wrapped in leftover iron sheets from someone's roofing project. If it rotates at all, it's a moment of pure drama. The bolts holding it? Uneven. Not just different in size but in personality. One came from a gate hinge, another from a bicycle. One of them probably whispered to the router, do your best king. Now let's talk about the engine. It lives right next to the landing rods, like a sidekick in a superhero movie. Eager, loud, and extremely unpredictable. On good days, it runs, on bad days, it coughs, splatters, and makes you question your life choices. The sound it makes could be mistaken for a motorbike having an existential crisis. When the rotor does manage to start, it sounds like someone trying to blend ice cubes with a spoon. The back propeller? Ah yes, the little spinning guy that looks like it's begging for retirement. It spins, it stops, it spins again. If it were a character, it would be the comic relief, old, cranky, and too tired to save anyone. What about the windows, you ask? Now here lies creativity at its best. It looks like Jake went on a walk, found a wrecked Toyota Corolla on the side of the road and thought, hmm, perfect. He then yanked off the windows and attached them straight to the aircraft. They even have a light tint, you know, for drama. Hi, I'm Jekanji and I'm here with something innovative which I think will help in saving many lives in terms of delivery healthcare system. Inside, it's tight, no legroom, no emergency exits, just a single brave soul can fit in the pilot's seat and only if you're not plus sized. Luxury? <laughs> not quite. Budget brilliance? Absolutely. Now let's not forget the control stick. It wobbles, it trembles, it looks like it wants to make a run for it every time the wind holds. One good gust and the stick might declare its freedom. And what about the flaps? Do we see any? Do we need any? No? And yes. The Yuma 005 doesn't believe in conforming to the rules of flight mechanics. It's a minimal lift aircraft, baby. No flaps, 
जास्त वाईब्स रूम हॅज इट दॅट दिस हेलो वॉज डिझाईन टू सर्व अस अन ॲम्ब्युलन्स येप यू हॅव दॅट राईट अ फ्लाईंग एमर्जन्सी व्हिकल एक्सेप्ट दिस बेल इनफ रूम फॉर वन पर्सन सो अनलेस द पेशंट इज अ गोस्ट or willing to dangle from the landing rods like a christmas ornament this might not be the best choice for medical emergencies i mean imagine calling for medvac and seeing this little bug zooming or dragging towards you unless appreciate the ingenuity here the rotor could double as a giant fan or a grass cutter if modified correctly you have to admire the multifunctionality who said aircraft can't moonlight as agricultural tools Now let's imagine for a moment the Uma 005 actually takes off. People scream, birds fly away, the cows stop chewing. The rotor spins finally and the aircraft lifts a few centimeters off the ground. It's magic until it isn't. Because then comes the infamous rotor cough. The chopper shudders, the bolts scream. The engine tries its best and down it goes again not with a crash with a soft sigh like it just remembered it left the stove on As easy it is to laugh there's something undeniably remarkable about the Wima 005 built with no formal training no wind tunnels and certainly no billion dollar grants Jack Antwi represented a spirit that refuses to die He's doing more with scraps than some labs do with software. The Wima 005 may not fly to Dubai, but it stands as proof of what raw ingenuity, relentless willpower, and wild imagination can do. So, why does the Wima 005 look like a metal chicken trying to be an eagle? Because it's still learning to fly, and maybe that's okay, because in Africa, we don't just invent, we dare, we build. We weld the dreams with our bare hands, wrap them in iron sheets and send them to the skies, powered by sheer stubbornness and maybe a motorcycle engine. So here's to Wima 005, the most uncertain, lovable, glass-cutting office seated, rooftop wind pen fitted helicopter you'll ever see. Up up and maybe down again, but never out.